Founded in the 7th century, Salzburg has a rich history, which has resulted in Salzburg's old town section of Altstadt being awarded the status of UNESCO World Heritage Site. The hometown of Mozart and home to recognizable filming locations for iconic films such as The Sound of Music, as well as boasting numerous galleries, theatres, and museums, Salzburg is a center of Austrian art and culture. In this video, I will give you the best areas to stay in Salzburg. We'll start with Altstadt. Altstadt is the historical heart of Salzburg. It is where the city first started out back in the 7th century, and many of the buildings constructed over the centuries still stand today. In fact, so much of the city's historical architecture has been preserved that in the 1990s, UNESCO awarded the neighborhood the status of World Heritage Site. Immediately south of Altstadt is the leafy suburb of Nontel. Nontel is ideal for anyone wanting to stay close to the historic old town, whilst avoiding the crowds and higher prices for accommodation. Neustadt, or New Town, is the neighborhood directly across the river from Altstadt. The other half of the city center, Neustadt offers a contemporary alternative to its historical neighbor. If you want to stay right in the heart of the city, close to the major attractions, but the vintage atmosphere of the old town doesn't appeal to you, then this is a good neighborhood to consider. At the north of Salzburg, centered around Salzburg train station, is the district of Elisabeth Vorstadt. A relatively new and still developing district, Elisabeth Vorstadt is known for being one of the cheaper areas to stay in Salzburg. This is compounded by the fact that it's a little further from the attractions of the city center than other neighborhoods. Maxlen is the region directly between Altstadt and the airport. Primarily a residential area catering to locals rather than tourists, the shops and hospitality are less fashionable than in the city centre. However, being just a short journey from the bustling old town, this isn't something you will need to worry about. Morsk is much further from the city centre than the other areas on this list. Located at the southernmost tip of Salzburg, it is connected to the main town via the direct Morskstrasse. Whilst it is quite away from the central districts, this road makes it easy to get in and out of the city if you want to. Mon is located just to the northwest of Salzburg Altstadt and is believed to be the oldest suburb of the historic Salzburg fortress. Its name derives from the abundance of mills that used to be located in the area. Being located just outside the city centre, it provides easy access back in, while also being able to offer more affordable accommodation. This makes it a fabulous choice for anyone travelling on a budget. Schaumus is located just across the river from Altstadt. A primarily residential neighbourhood, it features very few of its own attractions. That said, its convenient location and accommodation prices among the lowest in the city make it an incredibly popular area regardless. Leopoldskron Moos is located in the south of the city and is primarily famous for one particular attraction, the Schloss Leopoldskron. A historic monument, it is located on the Weir Lake, surrounded by a beautiful park and a palace. Lehen is perhaps the best part of the city for those travelling as a family, especially if you have children. It is located close to the city centre, so you won't have to worry about lots of travelling, but is surrounded by plenty of parks and greenery, ideal for letting the kids run off their energy. Salzburg is, primarily, ideal for those looking to take in the history and culture of Austria, in one of its ancient cities. From its museums to its historic structures and winding streets, lined with traditional buildings, Salzburg has the iconic alpine aesthetic that Austria is known for. 